process of our cabinets are gonna be done today. Not today, they're not gonna be done, but the process is starting today. So we're saying goodbye to these dark, look at how dark it is in here. We're saying goodbye to these dark colored cabinets. I'm saying hello to white ones. It'll be a process, I think a couple weeks. Okay, we've been living like this for only a few days and it feels so chaotic in here. I hate him even to look at it. it. Just looks so messy. The plan is, in order for him to primer all of this stuff, we have to remove a good amount of stuff from the cabinets. He said we could push things halfway, but unfortunately things like dishes and stuff, they can't just be pushed towards the back because they're kind of big dishes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a table, a separate table from that dining room table, and we're gonna put all of our stuff that we need out of here onto that table, and I'm also gonna declutter along the way. So I have to kind of declutter some things. Here's what this looks like too. Yeah. Oh, I have so many cookie sheets I have to get rid of. So we are going to start right over here. I'm gonna go through these jars and recycle a bunch of these because I don't need all this. I said that I need you. I really need to get started right here. There's a ton of baking sheets I need to go through. Some I've had for several years that like are just I just don't use anymore, so I'm gonna donate whatever I can and then just keep a few of these. So let's just go through this right now. Too much of emotion. on the lighting. Don't wanna pick a fight with I had 14 like cookie sheets and pans. I'm keeping these just right here. I think there's like seven or eight over here that I'm keeping and these are like my mom's. So definitely keeping these like for um, memento sake and they're great pans, especially these like jelly roll pans, they're awesome. And I'm gonna donate all of these. I just, they're older but I still think that they can get some use out of them for somebody but I'm just choosing kind of being a little choosy right now because I don't need all these. We are borrowing two large totes from my mom and we're gonna put the things that um, I need to keep to a side. We're gonna put them in here. So I'm gonna just start putting some things in here. This is the situation right now. <laughs> Here's like a donation pile of things I'm gonna donate. This is all the dining stuff that we use. So we're putting it on this little table for right now that we had in a room. And actually some of these like brown dishes are, are really old ones. So we're gonna donate whatever are not chipped and then throw the chipped ones away. We're just condensing, getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I think our cabinets will look better overall later. I'm so much stuff back in here. Are you walking? Oh, I think she just took her steps. She did, and I may have gotten it, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. We've been waiting for her to walk and do something for us, and she's always holding on to something. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff in here. Man, it's for me, thank you. Lots of things, and then down here there's a lot too. Good grief. However, the nice thing about cleaning this all out is that I'm going to get some new pans because apparently it's not safe to cook with like the like the lining like of the inside of the pot or pan missing. So yeah, a lot of this stuff's gonna get thrown away because like it's not safe, I guess. So I'm gonna buy some like nice cast iron enameled pans that'll last a much longer time than these. So these are already filled up. I don't know 
what I'm gonna do now. I still have to find a place for this stuff, and then I don't know what to do with all of these lids. There's so many lids in here. There's at least like 10 to 15 lids in here, but at least um, this is all pretty, this is all cleaned out, which is great. I still have that over there too. <laughs> this, this I think will be fine though, it will be easy for me because I'm throwing a bunch away. I think he'll be able to push this back enough for him to, because he's placing like a, I think like a plastic thing right here, right in the front, like about halfway in to spray the outside. So I can just kind of push things back. So I'm not really too concerned about that. There's some things in here I definitely need to throw away. Look up there, it's a Phantom Menace popcorn bucket. I was obsessed with Phantom Menace when it came out in the theaters. I think I went like three times. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I have all this stuff up here as well. Things I don't really use on a daily basis. He said our pantry is good, we just need to push everything back. And I did have a pantry organization video, so don't need to do that. And then just this, so I don't have too too much left to do although there's a lot of stuff in here so I'm almost done it's getting there it's getting there it's just it's just chaotic looking I had to do something I was getting so overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that is on the counters because I, I really can't do anything with the counters back there so I was like okay the least I can do is move everything off of this counter that was up here I had jars and, and mugs up here yes those are school workbooks we still make our kids do work during the summer yes we are those mean parents but let me show you where I ended up putting everything here on this <laughs> this makeshift kitchen table we have all of our dishes like I showed you earlier but down here I have a suitcase and I filled it with like breakable stuff so I am going to zip this up in a little bit after I find some more things I'm gonna zip it up and then all the mugs that were on my table or on the counter these are my prized possessions guys if you guys know anything about me I am a huge Disney fan these are all my Disney mugs I have to be super careful with these so these are in a box and I am gonna close it up and we're just gonna kinda use whatever mugs are over there. But it makes me feel less anxious being in here now. Like, I, I don't feel quite overwhelmed knowing that this is at least, I'm in control of at least the island. So I'm just gonna stop tonight because I, I, I need a break. I think we did. A, I did a pretty good job tonight. Dan's playing softball, so I was kind of on my own. But I tend to do better when I'm, I'm on my own, doing my own thing. So tomorrow's a new day. We have a deadline. We have to get this all done by Sunday for him to come on, come here Monday, and start doing what he needs to do. So tomorrow is a new day. All right, I just went through some of my pans. I had, I think, like 15 of them or 16 of them. I'm keeping just these for right now until I get my new pans in because I need to order them and really determine what I'm wanting because they're they're a little bit on the pricier side but I know they're gonna last longer so I'm keeping these until I can get rid of them and get my new ones in so now I need to start on these pots and Percy is gonna help me out here hey get out of there let me feel your love again these look brand new, like I've never even used them. So I might end up keeping these and getting rid of all the red ones that are like really jacked up. I went through all of the lids and I tried to fit them to what would go with what and then I threw a bunch away. Wow guys, I got rid of a lot of stuff. We were able to just stick it back in here because like I mentioned, he's only going to need half of this space. They just told us to like shove whatever we can towards the back, but this is all I'm keeping. And the lids are in here, which means that there's no lids in here and I have more space which is amazing. I got rid of so much stuff. I'm gonna show you guys. My plan is keeping this for a little bit until I figure out exactly the pots and pans that I need. I've been writing them down so I know kind of what I'm looking for when I go to look. Oh my gosh, so here's the things I'm throwing away. I'm kind of sad about a couple of these just because they worked for us. They were good for us in college when we were just married. So it's sad, but time to move on and get some better quality stuff. Why do we have this? Because I think originally, I honestly think it was supposed to be like a beer bucket. <laughs> like <laughs> it was our cheap version Star of a beer Wars bucket. Episode one. But we have a real beer bucket, so we can throw away that fake one and just use the red hook one that we got on our New England adventures back in the day. And then there's a stein up there. That's yours. Oh yeah. That needs to go down with the buffet stuff. Yeah. I don't even know what happened. And then little Percy wipes and then teas. Holy cow. 
There are so many crumbs from the toaster. Okay, I'm gonna clean this all up real quick with my handy dandy vacuum. Just the two of us and we could stay oh my gosh, what's that? Is this cat food? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Our cat died. Oh my that was like gosh. five years ago. Kitchen cabinets and drawers are all painted. I am in love with them. It makes this kitchen just pop and makes it look brighter and so much cleaner. So what we're waiting on now is we're doing the hardware ourselves. I ordered some knobs and some pools from Amazon and I'm waiting for those to come in. They should be in here today, tomorrow. What I'm gonna work on right now is cleaning the backsplash really, really well because it really never has been detailed very good. So I'm gonna give them a really good clean and do all the counters before I start bringing anything back in here. So that's what I'm gonna start working on. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? Can anyone recommend a good grout cleaner? This grout is white and I know it will never be stark white again, or maybe I can, I don't know, but if there is a good product out there, please let me know in the comments. Our home, we don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I wanna pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purse. huge day today. We have the majority of our cabinets and drawers done. I'm waiting on some more hardware that is coming in from Amazon today. Guys, this hardware is amazing. So I'm gonna leave some links in my description box showing you what I got and something that made these knobs and everything else go on so much smoother. Back in Jan January or February, I did a laundry room makeover and I did my own cabinets and I wish I had a template like I bought for this room because it made it so much easier. Everything will be linked, but this hardware, I think it's by Reventi or Revent, is amazing, good quality, so easy to put on. So these are done, well, like I said, we're waiting on some more down here to come in, it should be in today, but they look fantastic. So of course this is not the finished product I need to clean right now. I need to dust out all of the cabinets and the drawers. Those are obviously, I cannot do really do anything over there because they're not on, but it creates a bunch of dust and like little 
wood particles as you can see on my counter right here. So I need to start clearing out the drawers, cleaning them out as you can see, like there's a lot of little dust stuff going on in here. So I'm gonna give this all a thorough vacuum and wipe down and I'm gonna start moving all the crap that I have in here back into where it belongs because I am tired of living like this. We've been living like this for two weeks now and I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to wrap this all up and get this room back to its normal messy state where the kids play. So let's get started. Let's start cleaning this room up because it's, re it's ready. Pretty much ready. And guys, this was honestly, we should have done this maybe like two to three months ago when she wasn't walking around because she's been getting into everything. Like she walks, she doesn't crawl anymore. Ugh, just nuts, but all right, let's just get started. definitely don't need this many knives this is crazy I have like 10 right here and then we literally don't eat that much ice cream yet I have four ice cream scoops like what the heck so I'm gonna just declutter some of the stuff get rid of it donate it That is some progress, I think. That's enough, right? Getting rid of all this stuff. This is going into a baking drawer because I use this to cut dough with. So moving on to the medicine drawer. Honestly, the most fun and most satisfying part for me it was putting away all the dishes and seeing our table in the dining room start clearing off of all the clutter that is until my daughter saw the tripod and decided to give it a push and I for sure thought my camera was done so but it's a tough one thank goodness The rest of our hardware just came in the mail. 
and it is the Raventi cabinet hardware. These are the ones that we're gonna install on the rest of our drawers, and they're the larger ones. But what I love is that they're all individually wrapped, and they all come with screws that are already in here, which are individually wrapped as well, which is great, so it doesn't like actually scratch the hardware. But they also give you some longer ones um, for like thicker wood pieces, which is great. I highly recommend these. These are very, very nice. I'll take one out of the bag right now so you can see. And this is what we are using on all the drawers. Some are smaller because they, we have smaller drawers, but they are awesome. And I'm gonna show you real quick the little template that I bought. Got all of our supplies over here. This is part of the same brand name. And these are like door and drawer templates. So you know exactly where to put your handles or your knobs. There's another one over here somewhere. And here's the other one that it comes with, which has been really, really helpful. This is what we do. Go like this, you open up the drawer, you place the template right on top of here, and then like wherever you want the handles at, wherever you measure it at, here's like the middle, you just kind of have to measure your drawer and then you mark the dots and it's gonna be even and perfect for your hardware to go on. And we're gonna be doing it for all of those over there. our cabinets really made this kitchen look completely different and just brought life and freshness into this dark room. I'm totally in love with it and so happy with how it turned out. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel on the way out. I would appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.